The chairman of the Akpo local government area, George Ariolu, says his administration will always strive to improve the welfare and productivity of council staff. He made a fresh commitment to this mandate during the inauguration of a newly built office complex for the local government secretariat in Port Akut. Senior correspondent Uchi Okoro was there. <laughs> There is excitement in the air in Obiakpo local government area. It's a day that marks an end to the shortage of workspaces that hundreds of secretariat workers have endured for many years. After about one year of construction, this two-story 30-room administrative block is set for use. Chairman of the LGA, George Ariolu, said he envisioned the project to improve service delivery to the people. It is a 30 rooms ultramodern of the complex all in suit which will go a long way into addressing the want of office spaces in the council and further better the working environment. The chairman was full of praise for Governor Nyeson Wike, whom he said has demonstrated sincerity in supporting the local government to deliver the dividends of democracy to the grassroots. Your Excellency will thank you for giving us that free hand to allow locations come to us the way it is released from Abuja. And that is what is helping us to do what we are doing. And we promise our people that we will do more. And your excellency will not put you to shame. We surely will make you proud. In the name of God is Father. Amen. God is Son. Amen. God is Holy Spirit. Amen. The chairman of the People's Democratic Party in River State, Desmond Dakawa, represented Governor Nyeson Wike at the occasion. For George Ariolo, what you have done is that adage that a lion cannot just produce a pussycat. If indeed you belong to the school of psychology of Wike, you are a member of Wikematics, nobody should expect anything less than this from you. Because this is the only way that our people are confirmed that leadership is service. Obiakbo Local Government Council also donated operational vehicles to police divisions in three communities to aid their job in protecting lives and property. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.